Sin makes Satan more powerful in your life. Satan is not powerful the way you think. It is the sin that you are committing that is empowering devil in your life. Help me push the subscribe button or follow button. Depend the platform you are watching me right now. God bless you. I want to give you three instances in today's broadcast. Number one, I want to give my own testimony. The Lord showed me one day where I was inside a room and the devil was outside. I saw devil trying to open the door where I was. I was trying to close that door. Satan was busy opening the door. I was trying to close it. Satan was busy opening the door. And the Lord opened my eyes and showed me something that belongs to Satan by my side. And the Lord made me to understand that devil is not coming to me because of anything or because he wants to harm me to wicked my life. No. That is not the reason why devil is coming. But the Lord made me to understand that devil is coming because of that that belongs to him by my side. That is that thing belongs to him by my side that is attracting him. That if I can do away with that thing by my side, devil will no longer come to me. So I now understand that Satan, there is something that attracts Satan to any man's life. And Jesus said, the prince of this world cometh, but he find nothing in me. He find nothing that belongs to him in me. He is not finding malice. He is not finding envy. He is not finding backbiting. He is not finding uh, uh, adultery. He is not finding anything that belongs to him. So anytime devil have access to find anytime Satan can find anything that belongs to him, no matter how you pray, you cannot defeat him. The disciples of Jesus said to Jesus, Why we can't why we did not be able to cast out this devil? Because they are not qualified to cast out the devil. That is number one testimony I want to give you now. Number two testimony I want to give you that sin makes Satan more powerful. In people's life we remember what happened in the book of first chronicles chapter 21 we remember what happened that a day came that bible said that satan pushed david to sin against god because the lord said that children of israel would not be numbered so being that david was a man god was boasting with he's a man after my own heart satan was hearing what god was saying Talking about David, a man after my own heart. And the devil was not happy to hear God giving that kind of testimony concerning David. And even David himself did not understand. Until that day that David was pushed by devil, according to the word of God. It seemed as if devil was at the back of David, pushing him to sin against God. And David ordered that the children of Israel would be numbered, contrary to what God said. And the, at the end, the Lord now decided to punish David because of that. Satan has ended up making David to sin against God. And the sin has power. Sin now attracts Satan to carry out his work. Immediately, David is sinned against God. Bible said that under three days, 70,000 of Israelites died before three days because of that just mistake. Because of that sin David committed against God. Sin makes Satan more powerful in your life. That is why Jesus came to die on the cross of Calvary to do away with sin. Because sin is the only power Satan has in your life. I am seeing many problems in the churches today, many problems in the life of children of God. Children of God are frustrated because they are told that when they fast and when they pray, as I normally mention it, when they fast and when they pray, and when they sow seed, that they be free from Satan. But they keep on doing those things, keep on doing that thing that belongs to the devil, keep on doing that thing that is attracting the devil in their life, but they don't know. And the, instead of them having relief from their problem, their problem keep on multiplying. Sin makes Satan powerful in your life. I want to give you number three example. 
We remember the sons of Sceva, seven sons of Sceva. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 19, 19, they went to cast out the devil from somebody's life. And they say, in the name of Jesus Christ, whom Paul preaches, I command you, come out. And what did the devil do to him then? Devil destroyed them. Devil tore them to pieces. Devil, many of them ran away naked. When they saw Paul, they just jumped out of those people's life. This issue of sin is very, very important. Do away with sin in your life. You will see how powerful God is in your life. Say no to sin. Say no to anything called sin. Say no to sexual immorality. Say no to backbiting. Say no to malice. Say no to anger. Say no to adultery. Say no to stealing. Say no to, 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 to deception. Say no to anything called sin. You will see how powerful God is in your life. And you will see how weak this poor devil is. You will see how weak Satan is. If you are a minister of gospel hearing this word, you need a lot of work to do in the life of your congregation. You have to tell them to flee from sin. Instead of presenting yourself as Superman, that with you, they will not have problem. That is the greatest deception I see in this end time. So, what am I talking about? Sin empowers devil. Nothing empowers devil like sin you are committing. The greatest power that Satan has in your life is the sin you are committing right now. The greatest power that devil has in your life, in your business, in your finance, is the sin you are committing. That secret sin, you did not call anything. You know, that secret sin, you are busy watching blue film. You are busy committing adultery. You are busy stealing, you are busy lying, you are busy going to nightclub, you are busy watching seductive movies, so you are busy. That is the power of Satan that is dealing with you. That is the power that the devil is using to deal with you. Say no to sin. Choose to live a righteous life. You will discover how powerful you that watching this message is. When you open your mouth and say, in the name of Jesus, Satan will just run away because you carry God in your life. God bless you. Don't forget to make everybody to know about this channel or this page. Don't forget to introduce this platform to your friends. Share this message to them so that they will be delivered and God will bless you. I love you all. See you next time and bye for now.